Hello and welcome to Johnny B's Tech Videos. In today's video, I will be showing you how to connect Scarlet 18i20 with its extension Scarlet Octa Pre. Let me quickly talk about why would we need to use the two units together. Uh, Scarlet 18i20 comes with eight channels. However, sometimes eight channels are not sufficient depending on the needs of the performer or the user or the producer. So, Scarlet 18i20 can be expanded and it can provide us with the eight additional channels, making it a total of 16 channels unit. Now, before we get into how to put those two units together, I'd like to say thank you to all the viewers and everyone who has gone and looked at my tutorial on how to use RC600 Looper on a single mode. I am a new YouTuber and the views on that video is just about 2500 and for me it's a big thing and I'm trying to work my way up to build my YouTube channel. So thank you everyone for your comments and uh, watching that video. It's a long video, it's about a 30 minutes video and thank you for watching that. I really appreciate it. And if you are into looping at all, and if you have recently purchased a Boss RC600 looper, that video is an absolute guide on how to use the looper um, in single mode. Now that's out of the way. Let's get into how to connect the Scarlet 18i20 and Scarlet Octa Pre. So this is the Scarlet 18i20. It has eight channels. Uh, two are at the front and six are at the back. These are all the outputs which can be used creatively and there are many ways of it, but that could be a video for another time. And this is the Scarlet Octa Pre. And it also has eight channels, two at the front and six at the back. Now, before I get into how to connect these two units and how to make changes within the software, there is an integral piece of a phenomenon that we need to understand and that is the digital clock. Basically, both these units need to work on the same clock, otherwise they can go out of sync. Let's look at what it means. Now, the concept of digital clocking could be familiar to some of you, but to some it may be absolutely new, so let's talk about it. So, when audio is sent into hardware, that is an interface or a mixer, it goes through AD, which is analog to digital conversion, then to DA conversion, which is digital to analog. Analog audio waveforms are converted to ones and zeros during the AD conversion, then back to analog waveform during the DA conversion. Now, this is a pretty simple phenomenon. I'm not going to dive into it and explain it. Uh, and if you really need to know about it, there are many resources online that you can look. But that's basically all it's saying that when the audio goes into the interface, it changes from analog to digital or zeros and one. And when it comes out, it uh, it is converted back into an analog signal. That's all it's saying. But we need to know that to understand the digital clock. So AD conversion only takes a split second and must be sampled at a very specific and regularly repeating intervals. Still... Interconnected devices might get out of sync. Well, interconnected devices in our case would be the Scarlett 18i20 and the Scarlett Octa Pre. Interconnected devices might get out of sync with each other and cause problems within that short span. This is where the job of clocking comes in. The clock provides the timing information and lets the digital signal to be converted back into analog at the exact time it needs to be. Okay, so let's understand it. Both these units, that is uh, Scarlet 18i20 and Scarlet Octa Pre, have their own clocks, but we cannot have them working on their individual clocks. Instead, they need to be working on one clock. We could have Scarlet 18i20 to use that clock for both the units, or we could use the clock of Scarlet Octa Pre to use for both the units. The setup that I have achieved I'm using Scarlet Octa Pre as the master clock. It's not that one setup is better than the other. It's just that when I use Scarlet Octa Pre as the internal clock or as the main clock, I just have to use one cable, 
and if I use Scarlett 18i20 as the main clock, then I have to use uh, two cables. That's the only difference it has. There's not much difference there. So what I will be showing you is how to achieve the setup where Scarlett Octa Pre is being used as the master clock. To do that, we need just one cable, which is this. So this is a fiber optic cable. And basically, since we are using the internal clock of Octa Pre, it goes from ADAT out of Octa Pre to the ADAT in of Scarlet 18 I20. Now let me show it to you with some diagrams and it will make more sense. So this is our Octa Pre. We need to put the fiber optic cable into the ADAT out of Scarlet Octa Pre, which is right here. So this is the back panel of Octa Pre. And right here, as you can see, it says ADAT out. We need to put the fiber optic cable right in here. So that would be the ADAT out. Once it's taken out from there, it goes at the back of Scarlet 18 I20 at the ADAT in input. So this is the back of Scarlet 18 I20. And here you can see optical out or in. So that would be the ADAT in. So these are the two slots where you can input that cable. I usually put it over here at the very end. So ADAT out from Scarlet Octa Pre to the optical in of Scarlet 18 I20. That's pretty much all the hardware work you have to do to connect these two units together. And after that, you have to do two more things to make sure that both the units are working on the similar or the same clock. So the first thing you need to do is you need to change the clock on Scarlet Octa Pre to internal. Now this is fairly an easy process. This is my Scarlet Octa Pre and if you see right here, it says internal and right here it says world clock. And this button, if you toggle it, you can change the clock either to internal or world clock. So if I toggle it now, you see the world clock lights up. And if you toggle it again, it goes to internal. So you need to make sure that the clock is at internal. And once that step is done, uh, we need to go and make a single change, basically just one click into the Focusrite control, which is a software that comes with Scarlett 18 I20. So this is the Focusrite control. It has many settings that you can play along with. Output routing, input setting, talk, and sync and whatnot. But what we need to do is we need to click this wheel here and that will open up this window on the left. Now, if you look over here, it says clock source. Mine is already set to ADAT, which is basically telling Scarlet 18 I 20 that it needs to use the clock from the Octa Pre. So once you are in here, and if you haven't had the setup done, your clock source will say internal. Mine says ADAT, that is because I have already achieved this setup. But if you are just doing the setup, your clock source would say internal. You need to change that to ADAT. All right, now that we have changed the internal clock both on the physical unit and within the software, it's all good to go. Now that we have connected both the unit through the cable and we have changed the internal setting, there's only one thing to know. Logically thinking, we would think that since we have 16 channels now, we would go into our DAW and we will assign inputs 1 to 8 to Scarlet 18i20 and then we will assign inputs 9 to 16 to Scarlet Octa Pre. However, that is another sort of a curveball that we need to go over and I'll tell you why. So this is a screenshot of uh, the user guide. And as you can see, it says hardware inputs available on Scarlet devices. 
If you look at it, if you are using Scarlet 18 i 20, then this is the column you'll be using and this is what we'll be looking at. And these are for the other Scarlet uh, interfaces. So when we are assigning 16 inputs to our DAW, this is how it would work. So to assign 16 inputs using Scarlet 18 i 20 and Scarlet Octa Pre in our DAW, we will assign inputs one to eight, and that will work just fine with Scarlet 18 i 20. But input nine, 10, 11, and 12, those cannot be used as input 9, 10, 11, and 12. And that is because they are assigned to loopback one, 10 is assigned to loopback two, 11 to SPDIF in one, 12 to SPDIF in two. And in order to attain that nine to 16 inputs, we need to assign input 13, which will be the first input on Scarlet Octa Pre. So in your DAW, you assign inputs one to eight, which will be the eight inputs for your Scarlet 18 i 20. And then you assign input 13 to 20, which will be the other eight inputs that will be going into your Scarlet Octa Pre. Now this can be a little confusing, so let me show it to you in my DAW and uh, that is the last step that we need to do and then we are good to record. So basically what we need to do is open up the DAW and when we are giving inputs, we need to click ascending or however you want to do. This is my way of doing it. I would say ascending at the bottom, I will say eight and I will assign inputs from one. And now you can see we have inputs from one to eight. Now I will go again to add more inputs or channels. And here I will assign and I'll write eight again because I need eight more inputs, but the starting channel will not be nine. Instead, it will be 13. And when we click, it will open another eight channels from 13 to 20. And that gives us a total of 16 channels. All right, now that could be a lot to take in just because of some of the prereqs that we need to know and how there are little things that are important to achieve this process. But once you start doing it, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to summarize the whole of this into a couple steps and you can just watch this video from here on and quickly do this whole setup. But all the information I've provided, including the internal clock and the reasonings, it was so you understand why you're doing what you're doing. So just to quickly recap, we will connect the Scarlet 18 i20 with the Scarlet Octa Pre using this fiber optic cable. This fiber optic cable goes from the back of Scarlet Octa Pre it at out and it goes into the fiber optic in of Scarlet 18 i 20 which is right here optical out optical in and it goes right in there the next thing you need to do is change the clock on the octa pre to internal basically you use this button to toggle between world clock and internal and make sure that your clock is set to internal on your scarlet octa pre once you have done that you need to go into focus right control go into the settings this menu opens and you need to change clock source which will be originally on internal you need to change it from internal to adat and that way both your units will know that they're using the internal clock of the octa pre once that is done all you need to know is that inputs one to eight will be assigned to your Scarlet 18 i 20, then skip inputs nine, 10, 11, and 12, and inputs 13 to 20, which is eight inputs, will be assigned to Scarlet Octa Pre. So that's basically a quick recap of what you need to do. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And if this video did help you, please like and share and please subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, go try this and happy music making.